One of the enduring images from Afghanistan during the Taliban takeover is of a Marine pulling an Afghan baby to safety over a wall in Kabul. Former President Trump brought that service member on stage during his rally last night in Georgia. Watch this. Lance Corporal Hunter Ian Clark. Lance Corporal, come up here. Come up here. Come up, handsome guy. Hunter comes from a military family and went to school right here in Perry, Georgia. Can you believe that? Come on up here. I am the guy that uh, pulled the baby over the wall, and it's definitely probably one of the greatest things I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah. I just want to thank all the support from all y'all. It really means a lot. And uh, I'm glad to be home now today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, uh, Laura, I got to say, uh, I, I miss those rallies. Um, <laughs> You know, they're uh, they're very serious. Uh, they're very substantive. Uh, they're also a whole lot of fun mm -hmm. uh, and they're very spontaneous. Uh, but I think that uh, I, I always liked them because they're sort of a, a wonderful display of America. Do, do you think the country is ready to, to get back to rallies like that? Well, I think the answer is yes. Look at the crowd that was there last night with my father-in-law. Absolutely. And how refreshing, by the way, that we are taking a service member, somebody who serves our country, and we are propping them up and we are recognizing them and applauding them instead of vilifying them like we have so sadly seen so many times uh, by the, the Biden administration, as we've talked about in previous segments. It, it's just what America is all about, getting behind one another. You heard the USA chants there. I mean, gosh, couldn't we all use a little more of that Trump rally spirit right now in America? I sure hope we see them all coming back uh, in, in a more rapid fashion going forward. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think that, uh, that people would be uh, delighted to get back to some of those. Uh, you know, Joey, another uh, uh, sort of uh, very stirring moment uh, was that sight during, uh, the, during the rally of the 13 empty chairs uh, there at the rally on, on the front row there. Um, what, what did that, what was your uh, reaction to that when you, when you saw that? No, I think it's a phenomenal thing. I mean, we've seen college football teams. We've seen the Atlanta Braves there, not far from that rally, did something very similar. They, they draped 13 American flags over seats in the stadium the next day. And honestly, I just hope this is a moment that as Americans, we say, you know what? The former president of the United States is honoring these men and women who gave their lives, bringing a, a Georgia Marine up on stage. I'm from Georgia, so that obviously warmed my heart. And, and I hope that the president of the United States takes a cue and, and does a little bit more to honor these men and women. You know, the, he says the buck stopped with him. And this isn't just about blame. I'm not going to I'm not going to go there right in this moment. But we need to honor those men and women. That's 13 lives that were lost in an operation to end a war that we spent 20 years over. And those 13 names, they, they hurt it especially bad. And I can say that as someone who lost dozens of my own friends over those years. Uh, that's not how we wanted to end it. And I appreciate the president, the former president there, um, honoring them and acknowledging them. Yeah. Um, Alicia, you know, obviously we've spent a lot of time, and I think justifiably so, talking about the disastrous mistakes that have been made, uh, I think, by the commander in chief uh, and top generals in Kabul and Afghanistan. Um, do, you know, do, do we do a good enough job in the in the press of separating out the, the what, what I would consider atrocious um, poor judgment of uh, military leaders uh, in a place like Kabul from the really extraordinary service and heroism of of people like that that uh, that Marine that President Trump uh, brought up on stage, right? Because we all need a little more of that, right? To acknowledge yeah. um, the people who have done such wonderful right. things, and I cannot watch that video without getting choked up when the corporal gets up there and yeah. he and you can see the emotion still there. He's going to carry that for the rest of his life. It's so hard not to. 
to feel for him, to be there with him, but also to appreciate him, right? Um, to appreciate all that was done. And it is so beautiful that they were also able to acknowledge and honor um, the 13 U.S. service members who were lost at that Abbey Gate attack. But getting back to your question, I think you have a good point there, right? Um, reporters have been from all stripes, uh, you know, it doesn't matter which side, everyone has been pressing this administration now. Some may not as, as, as others, but pressing the administration um, and as well as our military leaders on exactly what went down. It's been a rough month or so um, for this administration and for this country, but it would be nice to see more honoring um, of U.S. service members and all that they sacrifice and all that they do, because I think we need it as a country. We do need to acknowledge the mistakes that have been made, but equally yeah. it is important to know, um, to know the lives and the names of our heroes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and I, I, I really do think that it is so vitally important for all of us, uh, both uh, in, you know, who cover politics, but also just sort of everyday Americans to remember that, uh, you know, that, that for however bad these decisions are at the highest levels of the military, you've got literally the best that America has to offer on the ground, carrying out those duties um, and uh, performing unimaginable tasks and doing it with uh, enormous grace and enormous um, humanity, and uh, and it's an important thing right. for all of us to remember.